Black Goose TV family, what's good with it? Nothing but love, positivity going your way. I hope your Wednesday is going absolutely amazing. And by the way, if it's not, I promise you right now, it's going to change. It's going to change for the better. Its trajectory is going to go from here to here. I promise you that. And if it don't, man, come back. Have some words with me. Say something to your boy. But, I, but, but just stay positive. At the end of the day, stay positive. Blessings to you and your family. Now, with that being out the way, man, let's go ahead and get into it. We got boxing news for y'all. That's what I'm here for. Fluence is in the building. Black Goose TV is in the building. So you know the boxing news is going to be in the building. Y'all can see it right over here. It has to do with Alexander Usyk, okay? And this is a very interesting topic because it's tying Alexander Usyk's name with Canelo Alvarez's name. How does that even make sense? How can that even tie together? How can that even be congruent, right? That's not even a puzzle piece that belongs with the other puzzle piece. That's one of them joints you're trying to fit into, and it's like, that puzzle piece don't fit. That's not going to work. But it's like, I only got two puzzle pieces, and the other one don't work too. So one of these niggas got to work, even if I got to force it. That's the type of vibe I'm getting, right? But where is this all stemming from? Why is Usyk saying in this particular headline, he's willing to fight Canelo at 201 pounds for heavyweight titles? Why is this? even being put out there and you guys are going to understand it uh if not by the end of this video you're going to understand it by one of my other vi uh, videos excuse me because i'm gonna do a reaction video to canelo actually saying something specifically to Usyk. now why am i not surprised by this because we got canelo versus Bavar happening this weekend right fluence lounge is going to be lit saturday so make sure you join me for it if you haven't seen the fluence lounge for serrano versus cape teller as well as shakir Stevens versus oscar valdez go ahead and go check that out you know what i'm saying that's last saturday but with that being said because we have a big fight, I've been told you guys, right? I've been told the family. I've been conditioned, you guys. I've been put you in the mindset and understanding. If you didn't know, well, now you know. Business comes first. Marketing comes second. Your opponent comes absolutely last, okay? That's not even third. I didn't say third. I said it comes last, right? That's why I say there's no such thing as ducking. There's no such thing as, oh, this opponent is scared to fight another person because they don't have control of that. It's all about the money being made, the money being generated, and what makes the most sense business and marketing wise. So obviously, we'll have a million stories about Canelo fighting this guy, fighting this guy. What if, what if, what if? Because obviously it promotes the fight that's coming up Saturday. It makes more people talk about Canelo. The more people talking about Canelo, the more people talk about Baval, more people talking about Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, blah, 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 blah. It's just a cycle. It's a pyramid scheme. Die. You know what I'm saying? If you understand, you understand. If you don't, you probably never will. And you're always going to be lost in the motherfucking sauce. I ain't the person to make, I ain't the person to be like, hey, look, if you want to live life and you want to be able to get through this thing the right way, that's how it goes. That's not what this channel is about. We talk boxing. I ain't going to break down how to motherfucking get through, break through those barriers and make real money. You know what I'm saying? So you're not. Maybe I need to do that for you. Anyways, so with that being said, Eddie Hearn was actually the one to initiate everything. Eddie Hearn said Canelo wants a Usyk fight. Canelo's want, he would love to fight Usyk. Eddie Hearn put that out there, right? And he said he would love to fight him at catchweight. Now, we already know that Canelo is talking about a cruiserweight fight possibly with McAvoy, right? We also know that Usyk fought at uh, a cruiserweight. You know what I'm saying? He was undisputed at cruiserweight. So this is not a far-fetched thing, right? It is not far-fetched. If we're talking about a catchweight at cruiserweight, if we're talking about Canelo doing all he does this year, he beats Triple G for the third time, he goes and fights John Broder, and then he goes into the he goes into the new year, and you know, a new man, and then he wants to fight Macabu at cruiserweight, take the cruiserweight titles. You're telling me there's not a possibility if Usyk ends up being Joshua for the second time and Fury supposedly and allegedly really retires. You don't think there's a possibility of Fury, excuse me, Usyk versus Canelo at cruiserweight? Now, Usyk, to me, I'm like, he's trolling a little bit, saying he'll fight Canelo at 201 pounds for the heavyweight titles because he's basically saying, oh, if you're saying Canelo wants to smoke with me, why doesn't he fight me when I'm at a very comfortable weight? He can't. He's going to have to fight me at a cruiserweight type weight, right? And 201 pounds technically is cruiserweight still. Not in the cruiserweight rules, but, you know, they made that new division between heavyweight and cruiserweight uh, that uh, – um, um, Shit, uh, damn, I, I was about to say Oscar Valdez. Oscar Rivas is uh, fighting for. Um, I, I, it's pretty, pretty, pretty fairly soon. So, or no, he already fought, he, he already fought and he won. It was the bridge weight, it was a bridge weight title. And I think that's in the like 201, 210 area. If I'm wrong, you guys can correct me. But with that being said, I, I this fight could really happen, right? But you know, ultimately, I do know it's kind of mostly smoke and mirrors. Uh, but let me ask you guys this, Black Goose TV family, because I feel like the last two videos I dropped, I didn't ask you guys any questions. So let me ask you guys this specifically. Would you want to see Canelo versus Usyk? If it was really possible, would, would that be a fight you guys would be interested in? And who do you guys have winning? So we're going to go ahead and get to the nitty-gritty of this article. We're not going to be over the top. I don't want this to be too long. But I just want to say what Usyk has to say if we can get an actual quote from my guy. 
Um, this is coming from his manager, Alexander Usyk's manager, Igis Klimas, has declared that Usyk would be willing to come back down to cruiserweight again for a fight with Canelo. So he is willing to come back down to cruiserweight to fight Canelo. He genuinely believes he can beat Alexander Usyk for the world heavyweight title. He said to me, if you can make that fight at one pound above cruiserweight, obviously was a crew, obviously, you know, Usyk was a cruiserweight. I will beat him, said Eddie Hearn to Joe C.O. UK. I find it hard not to believe him. Canelo comes from a tough upbringing in Mexico. So that's coming from Eddie Hearn, and then specifically from uh, Alexander Uzi's manager. He said he has no problem going back down to cruiserweight to fight. Uh, uh, Canelo basically to combat that and say, like, if you're really talking all that shit, make sure it's not smoke because Usyk wants it. So how truthful do you think any of this is, Black Goose TV family? Is there a possibility we can really see Usyk versus Canelo? Is that all cap? Is that all smoke in the mirrors? Or is this just a beautiful ploy at marketing to keep us talking about uh, excuse me, Canelo? So when his fight comes up with Baval this weekend, he has more eyes than usual. What do you guys think? Drop in the comments below. Like the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Much love.